Welcome guys and uh, I decided to do another video today and this one is going to be on how to use this animator. Just just a, just an entry one so that way you know a little bit of something. Now I've got this cube right here that I just have playing just pretty much automatically for now because it, you know I don't want to explain scripts and stuff right now because we haven't entered that part yet and um, so I was like let's do one on the animation since I just went through all this other stuff alright sounds logical it, it sounds like a good step I mean yeah. so what I did was I just pretty much like you guys could do if you wanted to experiment was I could go right up to here <coughs> the game object sorry and drop a cube in okay and this is all the basic stuff right here and I put an animator on it and the controller you can go anywhere in this project I just put asset and then and you can right click now you can import a package or a variety of different things but I was like let's just do something simple so I went down and I just hit animation shin controller now, when you get animation controller, you click on this, and you uh, <coughs> make sure you have your cube selected, what you want to animate, put this controller here. That way, when you open this up, like I told you guys in the last video, you can put this, well, you got to create an animation, which... When you click this and you have the animation window down here open, it'll come up with a little box that goes create a animation, just click. And it'll bring up a blank one. And what I did was I just went into the scene, took this, and I, well, you can also go right here and do, a, let's just do a new clip. Ah, yes, new animation, sweet. All right, so we'll go and we'll put this on record. Now, you know it's recording since this turns red, okay? Now, what do we really want to do? We, we want to rotate it. That sounds fun. And we'll just take this. Now, you have to have a beginning frame, okay? And then we might want to, I don't know, move it. This will be our, our our starting frame. Now you want to go over, 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 over. Okay. Now what do we want to do? We want to now let's just rotate it some crazy direction, like uh, and let's just make us a new location all the way over here. Now we stop it. It goes back into place. That's fine. It's supposed to do that. Now. You see how this is? Make sure you're not like a goofball and have root motion. Which, root motion, here's what it is. Anything that drives with motion, like if you animate a guy and he's moving in the animation, you know, like you model him and he just moves, 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 and he's like a walk animation, root motion will actually use the motion off the animation. It'll drive the speed of him, how much he goes forward, backwards. That's for animation. If he turns in the animation, he goes like sideways and goes, whoa. This does it. This is what it will do in game. It'll use the motion off of it and use no scripting whatsoever to control speed, rotation, or anything. It's all controlled here if you use root motion, which is really cool. But I don't use it a lot, so you know it's kind of one of those gray areas. Some people like see I, I like to do internet games like you know multiplayer and stuff. This is an issue with multiplayer games because you want to interpolate where the the player is and you usually use a lerp interpolation. Um, 
basically I want to make sure he is in that spot that he's supposed to be in which if you have root motion it's problematic because he's trying to use the animation to move him instead of just making him go there so we use non root motions a lot of times in multiplayer because they're more of a pain than in a word they look great but they're more of a pain now since we're off record now if we hit play we and he just keeps going around like that and that is an animation wow he just did an animation man now if you understood this part right here then this guy right here no problem whoa okay oh yeah that's right I went and changed his animation and this is just basically like a parent object just one so the parent object of the whole thing is running with this animation too ah, that's sweet so when we go to push play instead of why is this thing going get off that okay now we'll go in there and we'll see both of them just you know just flying around being all goofy oh oh yeah that's right i got that bounty thing and the other one but yeah this is just pretty much animating that's it it's really easy if you can do this you can do that dancing whatever one the this uh max this one the one that I pretty much just slapped together. Oh, it's going to give me a problem because it's not there before it starts. And, uh, yeah. Changing animations like that in runtime and stuff is a big no no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, alright. It's there. So he should start dancing around like a fool. Yay! around the spot but he's there dancing and why isn't he falling why isn't he falling huh that's great why isn't he falling interesting how come that's crazy hmm. Must be due to the animation having that's really weird. I really don't get that. Huh. Why don't you fall? Oh wait. Okay. Now I know why. Reset transform. Okay. Now let's, because the root of this object, why is it lagging like that? Oh, I can't move it because the root of this object, okay, instead of this like model, was someplace else, whether a collider. Because the collision, to keep it going th through the floor, is the capsule, remember? So if your capsule is there, and the whole rest of you is like this way. Your capsule's there. You don't fall. Lovely, huh? Yeah. Or not. I must have a positional data on that. Huh. That's really weird. Okay, whatever. I don't like the animation anyway. But. Yep, th that's how you animate, and, you know, I hope you find this useful. You know, mess around with the animator, it's very powerful. You can do more than just characters with it. You can do doors, windows. Trust me, it, it's going to get interesting later on down the road. But, uh, I'm going to say goodbye, and, uh, hope you guys have a nice weekend, and, uh, thanks for watching, and come back, because I'm going to do 